Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome everyone. In this video, I go to a place in Ohio I've wanted to visit for a very long time. I'm going to the Columbus Zoo. to mention is a couple days after my visit, news broke that Jack Hanna, who up until last year was the director emeritus of the Columbus Zoo, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Jungle Jack Hanna was one of the most frequent and treasured guests on David Letterman's late night show. I enjoy watching those old clips on YouTube. I've watched Jack Hanna's show Into the Wild for many years now, and I have learned so much from Jack in that show. For that and his lifelong dedication to wildlife preservation and, ed and education, I thank you. I want to send my love and support to the Hanna family. I got a great surprise before my visit to the zoo. It turns out Columbus has a number of Tim Hortons restaurants. Tim Hortons reminds me of vacations to the Canadian Rockies, so it was a lot of fun to grab some breakfast there. After breakfast, we head to the zoo. The weather is absolutely perfect today. A great day to visit the world famous Columbus Zoo. The Columbus Zoo is frequently ranked as one of the top zoos in the U.S., if not in the entire world. It's also Easter Sunday, and there's some Easter decorations in the Esplanade. Checking out this large map for this large zoo. I think we're going to hit up the left side of the park to start. This lake has a large number of koi fish. There are signs telling people not to feed the fish, but we came over. The fish came over, and I'm not sure it's for posing. That map said we should take the tunnel that goes under the thoroughfare to get to some of those exhibits. So we're heading that way now. More of those Easter decorations. Those big carrots over there. We're heading over to this flamingo exhibit where my dad will get some flashbacks from the old show Miami Vice. I'm just remembering that Agent Carter episode where Edwin Jarvis was attempting to get Howard Stark's and flamingo into its enclosure. I'm failing this Now we're going to the alligators. <laughs> 
Looks like just one alligator here. Or maybe it's just one that is out and about right now. Now we're going to the reptile exhibits in this building. Check out these little birds that made their nests up here.
It's not going to jump for me. He's not jumping. Are you trying to go in the water? I'm not sure what he wants to do. They're right there. Do you see those two pictures right there? Hey, do you see the sign? As odd is the great big turtle. China blends in with the cup branch the turtle is trying to hide under. Now heading toward the Australia section of the zoo where kangaroos, koala bears, zebras, and other similar animals are located. So typically in like June or July when it gets a little warmer, the kangaroos are all going to be asleep. So you're getting to see a little bit action of action because it's a little cool outside. Um, this is a great exhibit to come to first thing in the morning because the kangaroos are usually only active then. Otherwise, they're asleep all day long. So we have red kangaroos, we have gray kangaroos. Our three grays are over here to the right. Our one male is in the middle. His name is Fergus. Now we're checking out the koala bear. These Tasmanian doubles are a little camera shy. Here you go. They kind of look like little guinea pigs. What? Yeah. That was stupid. In this building are a number of nocturnal animals.
Now looking at the aviary, where many exotic birds make their home. Let's check out some more areas of the park, which we'll see next time. I'll show you the other sections of the park, including the aquarium, plus the Asia and Africa sections. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and ring that notification bell to get the latest updates on my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching! Bye!